Eric. Tell me, why are you smiling? Grandpa, I am the happiest person in the world. You treat me like a king. I do so because I love you. After your parents died in an accident, I did my best to raise you. But, now you are old enough to survive on your own. Are you trying to tell me, that I should move out of the house? No. What I want to say to you, is that I am going back to my homeland, to spend the remaining years of my life. But why? I can foresee problems in our country. Eric, in a few years from now, half of the people in our country would be unemployed. Millions of workers, will be replaced by robots and machines. If people do not have jobs, how are they going to pay for things? The government, with the support of many billionaires, will give them a basic income, or welfare payment. Lots of people who do not work, may like this. The only problem is, the government will keep an eye on their behavior, and everywhere they go. Are those your only concerns? No. I can tell from the changes that are happening here, that democracy in our country is dying. Why do you think so? Look at what is taking place today. Lots of people are disrespecting our nation's flag. Some even want history to be removed from schools, and God to be removed from many institutions. The freedom of speech is declining. Grandpa, those things are not important to me. The only reason I voted for the current government, is because they promised me, lots of free stuff. You, tend to take things for granted. You need to pay more attention to the policies, that are being implemented. How can you tell, when a nation is heading the wrong way? Because I had lived, under an oppressive government before I came to this country. And I saw how a combination of high inflation, and huge debts ruined the economy of my homeland. Tell me, when you go back home, what are you going to do there? I am going to buy a piece of farmland, with a small house on it. I'm gonna raise chickens, and plant my own vegetables. If, you leave me here, how will I survive in this country? I need money grandpa. Don't worry. Tomorrow I am going to take you to the bank. I will transfer $300,000 into your account. Please, spend it wisely. Thank you so much. Well, after the money is transferred, I am going to travel to my native land. Eric, what are you doing here? I'm so surprised to see you. I came to the country you were born, because I have something important to tell you. What is it? All the money you gave me, is now controlled by the central bank. My country is now using digital currency, paper money has become obsolete. Now, I am only allowed to take out, a certain amount of my money at a time. Grandpa, the bank can even tell how much money, I spent at restaurants and casinos. Have you ever told them, that what they are doing is wrong? No. I don't want to get into a dispute with the bank, because they work closely with the government. I don't want them to call the cops or freeze my account. Tell me, where does the bank keep its money? The central bank has no paper money. It has electronic money, that is stored and exchanged on computers. Grandpa, it is just zeros and ones, on their computer systems. I don't know what to do now. Should I live here with you? I cannot say if that is a good idea. What happened in your country, will eventually happen here too. Why do you think so? Because I can tell by the radical policies that are being introduced here. The majority of people today tend to support leaders, who like to talk about the common good of society, without, paying any attention to the kind of policies, they want to put in place. Can you tell, if things will return to normal? I mean, like the good old days. It's hard for me to say. For people to prevent total government control of their lives, they have to start talking about ways to improve democracy, and the need to come together, to peacefully voice their concerns. I feel so unhappy. Don't worry, when I die you will inherit this piece of land. I also have a bag with gold jewelry under my bed. Take it and sell it. You will need to keep extra food. Grandpa, what's the matter? You do not look well. My chest is hurting me. I think I'm having a heart attack. My grandpa is no longer alive. I feel lonely now. I have so many things to worry about. I have never prayed before. Please, can someone say a prayer for me? Hi, if you enjoy this video and you would like to see more of my videos on a wide range of topics, please hit the subscribe button and click on the link in the description.